everybody. The Wichita Public Library is helping you get ready for spring with programs for people of all ages. We have Stephanie Huff here with us today. Steph, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Well, I understand you guys have some exciting stuff going on with some gardening classes. Yes, that's right. It's very exciting that we have a whole series of spring gardening classes available at the library, absolutely free and taught by experts and master gardeners. Um, so it's a really great program that we have to offer for anybody who knows some gardening, is just trying to get into gardening for the first time. Um, and, and like I said, we're bringing the experts to teach them. And the risk-free can't beat that. <laughs> exactly. So registration is required, um, and they're, but like I said, all free. Um, they're going to be at the Alfred Branch Library, which is South Part of Town, and then also they'll be at the Rockwell Branch Library, so kind of on the east side of town. So an opportunity there. I'll be covering such things as container gardening, um, basic vegetables, um, landscape. Uh, so you oh, know, landscaping. I knew uh, that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> landscaping with annuals. Okay. So there's a variety of them. You'll mm -hmm. find the full list at wichitalibrary.org. Um, and, and that's where you'll also be able to register for them. Sounds great. Yes. And I know you guys are planning some fun stuff for spring break. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so spring break is a big time for us and our, all of our children's departments across the libraries in Wichita, and that's to provide programs that are free and um, build children's brains and curiosity over the week of spring break when they're out of school. So that's the week of March 20th. We'll have activities from children all the way from infants all the way to teens um, at the libraries across Wichita to to give them something to do while school's out. And you register through the library's website for those? Yes, some of them do require registration, okay. not all of them do. So if you'll find that full list at wichitalibrary.org, you'll find the ones that are um, the, neighbor, the library in your neighborhood or for your child. Um, this year, because it's the 150th anniversary of the Chisholm Trail that runs through Wichita, mm -hmm. a lot of our programs have a very much a cowboy theme or historical theme to the Chisholm Trail. We'll have some interesting guests coming in and some cowboy poetry, I believe. And so there will be some really unique um, events that are um, specific to that part in our, our Kansas history. And will you be offering anything for adults who also want to celebrate the Chisholm Trail? Yeah, so 2017 the library is doing a variety of programs all in celebration of the Chisholm Trail anniversary. Um, we've already started some this year, some Laura Ingalls Wilder program. We just started a book club that you can join in at any time, and that continues in March, April, and May. Um, at the Westlink Branch Library, we're reading books that are based on that time period and along that area, along the Chisholm Trail. Um, and as well as other um, historical programs we have coming up in um, the end of March, uh, Kansas Regional History Writers, um, local authors who write about Kansas history will be here. That's um, Saturday, March 25th at the Central Library. And so you'll find, again, all those uh, listings at wichitalibrary.org. Lots of great opportunities. Yes, exactly. Then I know another great opportunity coming up is the free health screening. Yes, that's right. So we are going to be providing a free health screening. It's actually the first day in... Um, April, uh, Saturday, April 1st from 10 to 2 at our Evergreen Branch Library, which is on North Arkansas, and it's about um, kidney health, um, that um, if you have a risk, uh, if you're older, if you have diabetes, you might be at a greater risk for having some health problems, and so you can go there and get a free health screening and uh, information you need if you have questions. All right. Well, Steph, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching this City 7 News Now update.